So I got my PhD at Oregon State in June 1984. A mentor, Dr. Thane Dutson, found a job for me as a postdoc at the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center in Clay Center, Nebraska. In 2005, I became the center director for the research center. Interesting that I went as a postdoc, the lowest level, and I left as a director of research center. It's the beauty of this country, which is reflection of how much effort you put into something you have up the opportunity to become who you want to become. My name is Mohamed Kamari. I'm the president of the meat division of the IEH Laboratories and Consulting Group. So we provide laboratory services as well as consulting with respect to food safety, mostly food safety and quality as well. In 1993, over 700 people got sick and a number of children died. The response to that was it was a, it was a 9-11 for the beef industry. A fast food nightmare may be getting worse. Hundreds of hospitalizations have been traced to contaminated hamburgers. Two children have died and dozens are hospitalized. And I was assigned to build a team of scientists to work on E. coli 15787 in the meat supply. The scientists in our group, we work really hard, 18 hours a day. I used to tell the scientists, if saving a little kid's life doesn't excite you to come to work in the wrong business, because that's what we were doing. And we did a lot of really groundbreaking work. We showed that where the old pathogen comes from, which was basically cattle hides, how to interfere with that process, which is basically sanitary dressing practices. We develop a system of you can call it the equivalent of a car wash, but washing cattle after slaughter to remove as much as pathogen as possible. We did a lot of work on the detection side, came up with a lot of different ways to, um, to control that pathogen. We have been credited with making dramatic impact on, on, in, in helping the industry to what it is today. It's not a problem because industry knows how to control it. And I also take great pride. I never believed in patent stuff. So never patent anything. Uh, I think if, uh, I helped come up with a lot of information that's readily available to industry to use to, uh, to uh, provide safe, wholesome, and high quality product for the American consumer. If my training at Oregon State was instrumental in ultimately who I became. I want to make sure I repeatedly thank uh, the late Dr. Walt Kinnick uh, he told me, I'll never forget him, I called him. He said, I don't care who you are, where you're from, if you prove yourself, um, you can stay here, but you gotta come here and prove yourself. Oregon State um, and State of Oregon through a scholarship uh, gave me the opportunity to finish uh, the PhD, gave me the um, uh, tools that I need to succeed in life. So I have been fortunate to receive uh, many awards from USDA and the scientific organization that I've been associated with. But this is from Oregon State and means a tremendous amount to me and my family.